Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm making pumpkin cheesecake brownies. It suddenly got so much colder outside, all the leaves are starting to come the ground, and you know what? I am ready for it to be autumn. And I'm fully embracing what is kind of more of an American thing, I think, but I'm going all pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Just warming autumnal flavours. This recipe uses just my generic brownie recipe, which I love and will love until the end of time. So I've just made up the batter already because I've got the recipe for it, filmed a video on it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But it's just dairy-free butter, chocolate, multiple sugars, oil, flour, cocoa powder, salt, all of that. So that's just the standard brownie recipe. And to make that slightly more warming autumnal pumpkin spice, I'm going to add in some of this pumpkin spice mix that I made. I don't think pumpkin spice is something you can buy in the UK, but if you can buy it, you can just use that. Or I just vaguely followed a this is how many parts of this to parts of this use. So in here I've got two teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of ginger, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves and allspice. I'm going to add two teaspoons of this into the brownie mixture. That's just ready to go and now I'm going to make the cheesecake topping. To make the cheesecake mixture, I've got a bowl here with 100 grams of vegan soft cheese or cream cheese and 20 grams of caster sugar and into that I'm going to stir 50 grams of pumpkin puree. So again, you can buy this as a tin of pumpkin puree but they've not started selling that yet so I bought pumpkin and roasted it and then pureed it. So I've got 50 grams of that here, I'm going to stir that in the soft cheese mixture and then I'm also going to stir in two teaspoons of again the pumpkin spice mix. So now we're just going to put these into a tray and bake them. I've got a lined rectangular tray here. This would not be my first choice. I normally bake my brownies in an 8 inch square tin but as I set off in the car back here I was thinking oh I've forgotten something. It won't be important, but I've forgotten something. About an hour into the journey, I just shouted, oh, damn, I've forgotten the cake tin. So, what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna add in about half of the brown mixture into here. So it's not necessarily an even coating, but you just want to get thin there. And then just dog over a little bit of the cream cheese mixture, you want to leave most of it for the topping, but just so there's some weight. Just grab a spoon and just kind of spread them around a little bit. And then top with the rest of the brownie. Again, dollop the cream cheese. And then just grab yourself a skewer and ripple it through. Okay, and now you just want to bake it in a square tin. You bake it for 30 minutes. This is slightly thinner, so I'm going to say maybe 20 25 minutes. That's when I'll double check it anyway, and I'll let you know. I've been waiting so long for these to cool, and now I have a lovely setting sun spotlight on them. Pumpkin cheesecake brownies. I will say these are better in the square tin because they end up being thicker. These did also take about 30 minutes to bake. Mm. 
Mm. It's so good. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you for watching this video. Please give these a go because they're so good. They're so good. Have a look at my other baking videos. I have a variation on some brownies. And I will see you next week for more baking fun. Bye.